All right, guys, so this is a really crazy thing. Um, I went a couple towns over out to eat with my husband, and I seen that there was a plaza I've never been to across, like, the highway. I had a TJ Maxx and an Ulta and stuff. So I get back there, and I noticed that every store has a compactor, so I'm like, crap. So all the way at the end, I found two dumpsters all by themselves, and it was over by, like, GameStop and the Geek Squad store. Well, I get out just to check, and look what happens when I rip open these bags. Hold on. Look what I found inside these trash bags. It's Ulta stuff. So guys, this random bag was inside of a GameStop dumpster. So I don't know if somebody put it there to come back later, but I found it and I'm super excited. So they look like return bags. So we'll go through them and see what's in them. Definitely sticky. Ooh, what's that? Okay, so some stuff is suit. Meh, I hate suit, but we'll see. So let me get started. All right, so this bag is pretty messy. I'm not sure if things are damaged, but it looks like a blue, a purple shampoo exploded. But here's a dose of colors foundation. Everything still seems to be in the boxes. A Clinique. Ooh, it's full. I don't expect this stuff to really be damaged because they have a compactor. So a lot of the time, Ulta's that have compactors don't damage everything. I don't know who put this in that dumpster because that dumpster was pretty far. It could have been like the trash person coming back to get it, but I might have snabbed it before them. What is this? So that's some kind of Becca thing inside there. It's like a uh, brightening corrector, like a concealer. Yep, there's something in there. I don't know. I think that's a Kim Kardashian. Looks like her uh, lip liner. Um, so here's a glimpse of everything in this bag. And then I have like a few random ones that I already pulled out of here. So let me take everything out and I'll show you when I'm done. Whoa guys, okay, so some things have purple shampoo on it, but this was everything that I found in this big black bag. I think they're definitely all damaged in returns because there's like, um, they've been opened. So that's quite a bit. Now I'm moving on to this bag that has, um, some fresh foundation. What is this? We have it cosmetics. Bye bye. We have some color pop stuff. We have some Maybelline. It Cosmetics um, eyeliner. There's something in this. This is the Pure Translucent Setting Powder. And that's that. Cute little lid. It's like full. We have some random things in here. An It Cosmetics brush. Some NYX really pretty eyeshadows. I don't know if these are testers or not, but they're really pretty. What is this? A MAC foundation. Looks in a pretty warm color, so I'll have to give that to somebody that can use it. But wow. All right, well, you get the idea. Here's this bag. Let me finish going through it, and then I'll show you the two other bags that I have. All right, so the pile's getting pretty big. I'm moving on to another bag, and there seems to be a lot of the Ordinary brand, like, facial stuff in here. Who's this? Uh, red can hair stuff. All right, so here's another bag. There's definitely some kind of wax in here. There's a waxing starter kit. So I'm gonna see if everything's in there. It's really sticky. I'm not sure what's in this thing. Bosley, Baboon, uh, cleansing powder. Let me, Go ahead and see what's all inside of here and I'll let you know. Okay, so this is the inside of the waxing kit. It's a mess. I'm gonna try to like, you know, save this and clean this. Something happened, you guys. We got some wax and strips covered and wax, but they can still be saved. Yeah, so a starter packed waxing kit. 
Okay guys, so this is insane. I went through everything, cleaned off what I could, and this is the haul from the unexpected find ahead in Ulta dumpster slash GameStop dumpster. This is insane. I'm gonna not go through everything, but I'll show you pretty much everything that I found. This is crazy. I just wanted to show you my Christmas tree. I got my Christmas tree up. And if you're an OG subscriber, you'll remember I found this little white table at a TJ Maxx, I believe. And I also found these Bath & Body Works holiday like decor gingerbread house thing in a farmhouse. I found that after Christmas last year. And I found that in somebody's personal throwaway trash that Santa. So definitely utilizing what I find from dumpster diving. But anyways, let's get started. Let's go through all of this awesome stuff I scored at Ulta. So let's go. So I really can't tell, but I'm pretty sure everything is a mixture between testers and returns and damages. So let's get started. I found these really cool little Morphe times Maddie Ziegler, I guess, collaboration. They're like face blush things that you can use for multiple reasons. I want to show them to you because the colors are pretty cool. So that's what they look like and they were never touched actually. Those are my fingerprints. So these were definitely brand new and let me see exactly what they are. They are cheek and lip mousses and they come in three different colors. It's actually pretty cool. So it's like you can use it for multiple things. We have three of these NYX foil eyeshadows. They're absolutely stunning. They're very shiny, metallic-y, glittery. This is a NYX Vivid Eyeliner. It's pretty cool. It's in this really hot pink color. So that's a eyeliner. How cool is that? Perfect for like Valentine's Day. And then we have an Anastasia uh, Dip Brow. This one is in chocolate. And it's definitely been swatched, but you can sanitize that really easy with some rubbing alcohol and just kind of getting a napkin and scraping away at the first layer. This is a pure face powder in a tanner color. We have a lot of things still in the box. I don't know if that means it's new or not, but this is a NYX tinted brow pomade. And I'm just going to open it just to show you that it is still in there. This is that little Becca, um, I think it's like an eye primer. What is it? A brightening corrector for your under eyes. Guys, I'm most excited about this. I found a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I thought only Sephora sold this. I didn't even know Ulta had this. It's in there and it's the big size and it is full. I actually just swatched this and I was like, wait a minute it's not supposed to be glittery and then I actually like read it it is the translucent setting powder glow so this is like a glow setting set powder or is this a highlighter I'm kind of bummed now that it's not the translucent powder because I actually love that stuff but this is stunning over here I just have a ton of like things that were out of the packaging and I have a ton more things still in the box. This is a Makeup Revolution eyeliner, a NYX eyeliner. It's in there. Two Tarte, what are these? Glitter liners. They're on one end and like a shimmery shade on the other. Another Kim K lip liner. This one is in Love. Can't really see, but here it is. I have a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, you guys. I found a ton of NARS. This one is in Light 2-3, and it's completely full. So I don't want to bore you guys. We have a Dermalage, Derma Blend, my bad, uh, foundation. We have a Juvia's Place, I think that's foundation. We have some Tarte Shape Tape Minis. We have a Cover FX Concealer, a Smashbox studio full coverage foundation a nars super radiant booster like highlighter i think it's really pretty we have a bb cream a pure two bye bye foundations we have an urban decay still in the box foundation and a pretty warm color i'm going to donate that um, I'm pretty excited about this. I haven't tried this and everybody, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, everybody raid, 
raves about the Ordinary brand and I found quite a bit of them. They're still in the boxes, but they are the Ordinary Lactic Acid, like, you know, perfect for skin. Um, so I'm excited to try that out. Tons of hair products, you guys. It's like they threw away the whole salon. We have mini size hair products. We have even like beard oils. It's pretty cool. We have a Tarte Amazonian BB tint. Stuff still in the packaging, just the packaging's ruined from the stuff. We have a ColourPop concealer, a ColourPop Pretty Fresh, I think this is the foundation in light. Yep. A NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade medium. Stunning. Uh, Smashbox Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in here. It's in there. That one is in Light Sand. Elf Concealer. Uh, highlighters. Bare Minerals. Naked foundation we have a benefit um, eyebrow pin thing that has multiple shades on it a bare minerals powder it's in there a bye bye it cosmetics foundation it's in there a it cosmetics cc plus illumination product it's in there crazy um there's that pure powder i showed you guys just so much stuff color pop Fresh Bare Minerals Dose of Colors. Um, who's that? Benefit. More hair products. A whole line of products. Some kind of Origins. Bosley. More hair products. Two little um, Benefit eyebrow things. Another NARS. A Too Faced um, Do You Luminous Face Primer. It's in there. Tula. Hemp's Dermalogica system hair stuff. We have Neutrogena. Here's the MAC. I'm going to pass along to somebody I know that can use that because it's a very warm, beautiful shade. And then just flesh. Oh, okay. So <laughs> this is an awesome score, you guys. Uh, I actually have the um, wax machine that I found soaking, trying to clean it. So that's soaking. I'm gonna clean that and reuse that. Yeah, so this is my haul for Malta. It is insane. I was not expecting this. <laughs> um, so I will definitely be traveling out of town every once in a while just to check that GameStop dumpster because this is what's inside. <laughs> All right guys, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.